Hello everyone. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a hair tutorial because um, I've been asked how I get the curls on my dolls to stay so like nice I guess. <laughs> um, the spiral curl is actually pretty easy to do. Um, this is just kind of a technique that I've sort of just come up with. I've you know um, practicing and practicing and just kind of figuring out what works. I personally do not like to roll hair. Um, because I did so much of it in beauty school and it's just, you know, I just don't want to do it ever again. So, <laughs> um, so here we go. So basically I start off by dunking the doll's hair in some warm water with a little bit of fabric softener. Um, just a little bit. And then, you know, I just hold it like this, basically cradling the curls, and uh, I don't want the hair basically to get weighed down and the curl pulled, so I kind of just dunk my hands in like that, and as you can tell, the curls are in my hand, and um, so I'm dunking it in the water, um, letting it sit there for a little bit just so that the conditioning um, happens, I guess, and uh, after that... Um, I do a cold rinse on it so um, the same thing holding your holding the hair just kind of run it under the, the water with cold cold water the cold is actually gonna set the um, fabric softener in and it's gonna also not let the um, the hair straighten out um, because warm water tends to do that. Hot and, hot and warm water will straighten the hair out. So you want to use, when you use warm water, you want to make sure you're holding it. Um, and just kind of rinse it out, you know, with cold water. After that, you know, I pat, it, I towel it dry, just kind of holding the hair, the towel, um, you know, just kind of squeezing the, the hair back and forth, you know. Um, and then this is where it kind of gets fun and interesting for me because I can do this while you know um, watching television or whatever um, I use a really big like wide tooth comb and I start at the ends and I'm gonna slowly just kind of you know go work my way up kind of like you would with a wig just kind of working your way up you don't want to start here from the top and go down because that'll cause knots not only that you'll be stretching out the curl so you want to make sure to start at the bottom and just kind of gently work your way up you're not trying to straighten the hair what you're trying to do is just basically break the hair open um, break the curl open I should say not the hair uh, break the curl open and uh, you know it'll it'll open up like that see so now you have several strands I guess um, <clears throat> and they're not messy that's the other thing you want to make sure that the hair is all together and not messy because after the wash it's gonna kind of want to do whatever it's gonna do like go crazy um, okay so and then I use another comb this basically with the, the small teeth and then I do start from the top down once I've actually straightened it all out and got it into a nice um, a nice curl um, each I mean a nice section not a nice curl um, so each curl has its own direction I guess that it wants to curl specifically see this one it's twirling this way so when I start trying to get the curl to happen I basically am gonna grab the hair and I'm twisting it in the direction that the curl is going I'm assisting it basically to do what it's naturally wanting to do um, after this it's basically you're just taking it around the head and you're just gonna kinda keep doing the same thing see the curls gonna it's it's gonna do that so that's what you're wanting it to do um, and then you're gonna go on to the next one and the next one and uh, you know just keep going and once you do this you're gonna have a bunch of little spiral curls going all the way around see as you can tell those two are already done right there I'm gonna move the camera a little bit up so you can see so these two are already done okay 
and then we're just going to push them to the front and then continue working. Make sure to catch every single little stray hair that's floating about because otherwise it'll make your, your work look messy. So I just do it in little sections and, you know, work my way around. Um, sometimes the curl wants to cut itself into sections where like it divides the top part and the bottom part but I tend to just kind of slice it sort of um, you know horizontally I guess and just kind of make sure that it's all uniform and you know once again this one wants to go to the right so once again I'm twisting to the right and as you can tell <clears throat> you're gonna start getting these little curls that look nice and um, you know are all kind of uniform and that's basically how I do it I just kind of do my own thing notice the difference this one's kind of all messy on this side and this side's pretty nice because it has the um, fabric softener it'll hold the curl nicely I let it dry like this before I do anything with it um, so just air dry and then once it's air dries I just kind of fluff it up a little you want to get it a little a little messy but not you know too much so I just kind of I squeeze it and it just kind of loosens the curl a little bit more but you still have a very nice curl so that's basically my hair tutorial on how to do this there are lots of other ways if you can find other ways that maybe work for you or find shortcuts you know go ahead and and uh, you know do what's best for you but this is just kind of how I've done it um, I also tend, once the curls are done, I tend to comb the hair down just a little bit just so it looks nice and even. And there you go, see? So now you have nice curls <clears throat> and the top of the hair is nice and uh, flat, but it goes into a curl. So that is basically how I do it. And um, I hope that helps you. Um, I will probably do another video tutorial on actually doing the curls with rollers and stuff, which ugh, I hate, but for you guys, I guess I will suffer and do it. Um, so all right, I hope that helps. Um, sorry my doll looks kind of spooky without eyes, but she's just a model. So all right, bye bye.